go to welcome to the stage, Mr. Jeffrey James Benny. Hey, y'all. Uh, you guys, recently, I won a wet t-shirt contest. Thank you. Uh, I didn't even enter. I just happened to be walking by, and I was really sweaty. And, uh, ma'am, I know what you're thinking. Man, I wish I had his boobs. <laughs> but even more so, I know what your husband is thinking. Man, I wish my wife had his boobs. <laughs> I'm actually thinking about getting a bro, <clears throat> which is a bra for men. But I can't decide which is more embarrassing, having people know that I'm a dude with boobs or having people know that I'm a dude who wears a bra. <laughs> and people are going to know that I'm wearing a bra. I mean, they're going to see me uh, fix my underwire. They're going to notice the indentation in my back fat. Uh, it'll be a dead giveaway anytime I wear a halter top. <laughs> and <laughs> nothing says you probably need to go on a diet like winning a wet t-shirt contest you didn't enter. <laughs> So I decided I would have vegetables with every meal, all right? But eventually I got tired of eating french fries three times a day. <laughs> so I joined a gym. And you guys, it went so well. After two weeks, I went to the locker room, I stepped on the scale, and I had lost 17 pounds. Thank you, thank you. So I decided to celebrate, so I stepped off the scale, I hung the out of order sign back on it. <laughs> and I went to the Dairy Queen. Uh, I even tried bulimia, but I also suffer from ADD. So I would binge and then I would start for the bathroom. You fatty fatso, you go to the bathroom, you stick that finger down your throat. Oh, look, the Smurfs are on. <laughs> Patty, will you bring me the Cheez-Its? No, the white cheddar Cheez-Its. Patty is my cat. <laughs> you guys, I grew up on a pig farm in Missouri. <laughs> None of you grew up on a pig farm in Missouri. <laughs> But when I was a little kid, you guys, I was really confused about where babies came from. Because my family used to tell me this story about how out of over 6,000 pigs that they had, there was one baby piglet that was their very, very favorite. And they liked this piglet so much that they had it turned into a little boy. And that's where I came from. <laughs> now, I'm 28 years old, you guys, so I am more than well aware of where babies come from, the stork. But when I was a little kid, you guys, I totally believed it because I thought that's where I got my tiny, pink, spiral-shaped penis. <laughs> I always wished my parents had been donkey farmers. or black. Uh, do we have any deer hunters in the audience? It usually goes that way. Uh, well, I'm a vegetarian, so not a big deer hunter. But where I come from, deer hunting is so popular, you guys. My family loves it. But being a vegetarian, I hated it. So, well, as a kid, I kind of considered myself a like deer whisperer of sorts. Uh, see, hunters wear neon orange vests, and they wear them so that other hunters know they're a hunter and not a deer, so they don't shoot them. So when I was a little kid, I used to sneak through the woods, and I would find all the deer, and I would give them hunting vests to wear so they wouldn't get shot. Here, put this on and wear it till next Tuesday. Okay, but why are you whispering? I'm a deer whisperer. 
You guys on the pig farm, this is so gross, but when the pigs get to a certain age, you have to castrate them. That means remove their testicles. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and you guys, <laughs> y'all, I was the worst farm boy ever. I remember the first time my dad took me out to castrate pigs and he said, Jeffrey, you're gonna find a pig with balls. <laughs> you're gonna wrestle him to the ground and you're gonna hold him there till I'm done. So I'm sitting on this pig, I'm holding him down, and you guys, I'm a vegetarian, so I'm crying. <laughs> and he won't hold still. So I said, look, pig, I am a vegetarian, and this is just as hard for me as it is for you. And he said, mm, I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> And I said, Dad, stop. You cannot castrate this pig. He speaks English. <laughs> you guys, recently I did the Five Boil Bike Tour. Yeah, thank you. It is a 42-mile bike tour through all five boroughs of New York City. Yeah. And surprisingly, the most difficult part was not the ride. The most difficult part was the end, when I had to peel my crotch off the bike seat. <laughs> It's awful, it's called saddle seat. And um, they actually make bike shorts that are lined with sheep's wool and it totally takes care of it, you guys. And I remember the first time I felt my naked man business <laughs> against that sheep's wool. <laughs> you guys, it was amazing. <laughs> So I immediately dismounted that sheep and went to buy a pair. <laughs> Thank you guys, I'm Jeffrey James Binney.